some noise for the one, the only, Paul Johnson! Toronto, let's go! Sick. Yeah, man. Sit down, sit down, sit down. We're all good, sit down, we got it all night. Sit down, sit down. I just said that so that on the album will sound like there was a standing ovation, you know what I mean? We don't get those in Canada, mm-mm, we're in a basement. But they don't know if they're on Spotify, it could be a theater. You guys made enough noise, fuck yeah, here we are. I love it, sick. I'm happy you didn't say credits when I got to the stage. Sometimes I'm doing shows right now and you're like, you've seen this guy on Just For Laughs. He's open for Joe Rogan. And you're like, yo, like three years ago. And then there was an entire pandemic where I did nothing but jerk off and paint in my room. Like, let me just <laughs> learn how to do stand up again, okay? I'm nervous. Let me figure this shit out. Those aren't my credits anymore. They don't count, okay? My credits now are like, he beat his previous record of jerking off six times in a day with eight. The eight time was blood. Here he is. Sick. <laughs> You guys are such a good audience when you clap at that. <laughs> Coming blood, I'm like, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun. These are definitely my fans. <laughs> Coming blood, and you're like, let's go! Sick! <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> like when the pandemic first started, right? I've done stand-up since I was 17 years old. So I'm just out there, always trying to find shows. I usually don't have nights off. And then all of a sudden it was like, all of your shows are canceled. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, what am I gonna do? And they're like, chill. Justin Trudeau's gonna give you more money than you've ever had in your entire life. <laughs> I was like, sick, $2,000 a month? That's my yearly salary. I'm an artist. Get chicken wings, King, you deserve it. Poutine on the side, you're rich now, let's go. So I finally had time to like watch shows that I never had time to watch before. I finally got to watch like Breaking Bad and like Sopranos and shit, right? But then after two weeks, I was like, fuck, I'm out of good TV, but I'm not out of good weed. Let's see what Dance Moms is all about. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did I watch that show? You guys seen that show, Dance Moms? Fire, right? Hell yeah, it's a great show. They take the little girls and the moms paint them up like whores, the moms fight, unreal. Tiger King with toddlers, such a good show. So good. I wanna make a show like that for guys. Like if CBC accepted shows by white guys, here's a show that I would pitch, okay? <laughs> It would be, what? <laughs> it would be like that show, but it would just be hockey dads getting their sons to fight. How good is that? Dance moms, and then you got puck dads? You're not gonna watch puck dads? 10 p.m. on CBC, just like, yo, this is my son, Brayden. Absolute nightmare on the ice. The kid's a fucking two-punch pack of lunch. Find him a puck bunny, he'll dust her off. The kid's disgusting. Silky is mitts this side of Southern Ontario. He's disgusting. Yeah, this is my son Hayden, okay? 11 years old, already has a girlfriend. What's up, dude? Yeah, this is my son Jaden, nine years old. Already fingered three girls. What's up, dude? Who's the puck dad? Just a fire show. If you don't like that, that's cool. You're not the demographic. That's not for Ontario, that's for Saskatchewan, Alberta, whoever kept corner gas on the air. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all, I know what I'm doing. Easy pitch. We could never have that show though. Cause now everything good gets canceled. Cause now anybody can be a reviewer. Back in the day, if you wanted to review films, you had to take film studies. You had to go to university. You had to watch movies in black and white. You had to know what Citizen Kane was. Now if you want to review shit, you can just be 12 years old with a YouTube account and you're like gay and that's it and shit's canceled. It's crazy. And they're canceling things that came out before they're even born. There's kids that are like cancel American Pie, not realistic. And you're like, I tried. Like these kids don't get it. Are you insane? There's kids out there trying to cancel Spider-Man. They're like, not realistic. You're like, you think so? You think man spider isn't realistic, you little fucking dork? I grew up in a generation where we had golden retrievers leading teams to championships. <laughs> and nobody said shit. Just had to be back in one week or there was a rental fee. That was it. You crazy? You think E.T.'s realistic? <laughs> what? You ever watch E.T.? 15 minutes into E.T., they're eating pizza, and his parents are like, go take out the trash. This kid's nine years old, and he has to take out the trash by himself, alone in the dark. Do you know how scary the dark is when you're nine years old? 
And this kid comes outside, sees E.T., and he's enchanted. Get the fuck out of here that this kid is enchanted. If I'm nine years old and I see E.T. in the dark, I'm killing him, for sure. One hundred and ten percent. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I'm not gonna be like, shh, come inside. Don't tell mommy and daddy. Hide with the stuffed animals. We'll feed you Reese's Pieces. Get in here. Absolutely not. I'm telling my parents right away. I'm snitching right off the jump. I'm gonna stomp on him. I'm coming inside. Mom, dad, there was a tiny little naked Asian man. He was looking for bottles or something. I don't know what happened. I killed him. I killed him. I killed him. I'm a monster. What happened? <laughs> Multicultural audience, look at this, Canada. Hey, we did it. I love it, I love a multicultural audience, love it. Much rather a multicultural audience than an all white audience, 110%. <laughs> Straight white guy in 2022, all white audience, mm -mm. no way. I have nightmares about that. I do a lot of like all black shows, like Jamaicans and Africans and stuff, and all the time white people are like, aren't you scared? Aren't black people mean? Don't they boo? And you're like, bitch, I'd much rather get booed than canceled. White people have Yelp. Like, are you insane? A black person will ruin your night. White people will ruin your life. Like, they'll write blogs about you. Find my mom on Facebook. I don't know what the fuck they're up to, but they're real Yelpy. It's insane. No, white privilege is real. I literally just got back from the cottage. Like, it's a legit thing. You know? But also, like, I'm a white guy that grew up with a bunch of Jamaican friends, so also none of my friends were on time, so, like, that's not a privilege. You know what I'm saying? And, like, what can I do, you know? I can't just be like, every single time, you, Jerome, Darius, Barrington, making me wait, so, like, I can't say shit. You know, you just have to be like, it's okay. Like, you can't say nothing. And now it's not just Jamaicans. And now anybody but white people can just show up late and blame it on their race. Sorry, man, brown people time. And we're like, you too? Like, what the fuck? Sorry, man, Filipino time. It's okay. Like, we can't say anything or we're racist. Sorry, man, Korean time. Really? Do All right. We don't have white people time. I can't show up at your house. Sorry, man, white people time. I know, you're 45 minutes early. My kids are still asleep. Get the fuck off the driveway, okay? I don't want potato salad. It's weird. Leave. It's fucked up. I love saying jokes like that, too. Cause you see like black people in the audience laughing and then you just see certain like white people being like, are we allowed, like is he allowed to talk about, like what the, is he allowed to say that? Does he have enough black friends? I don't know if he's allowed to say that. White people hate white people right now. It's insane. Like there's tension in the room right now and everybody that's not white is loving it. You know what I mean? They're like, this is weird, man. It's like I just saw a fucking fight at Bed Bath & Beyond or something, what is going on? White people right now, we're like the Spider-Man meme. Where we're like, you're the problem, you're the problem. It's the girls, it's the boys, you're the problem. You're the problem. Which we already grew up doing our entire life in the mirror, where we're like, you're the problem. This is why dad hates you. Cut my life into pieces, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's crazy. Black people got closer, and it's beautiful to see. Like, I walk down the street with one of my black friends, and they see another black person, and they say, what's up, just because they're both black. You know how beautiful that is? Like, they walk down the street, and they're like, oh, what's up, man? What's up, brother? You know what I mean? Like, stay strong. And I'm like, you know that guy? Like, nope, we're both just black. It's amazing. White people don't have that. I can't walk down the street. I'm like, what do you know? We're both Caucasian. They're like, I don't have change for you, white man. Six feet. Six feet. Put on a mask, six feet, back up. <laughs> I love this audience, you guys are so fun. It's gonna get so dirty, but you guys, you guys are good. It's cool. We do a lot of tough shows. You know that one of the last shows I did, I did a show this week, there was a brown girl sitting in the front row. The second I got on stage, she said, I hate you. Yeah, I know. And she was like, cause you're white. I know, it sucks. Also, hot brown girl. Like, I would have smashed. Like, that was way worse. Wouldn't be my first Priya. Absolutely not. Love brown girls. My bread and butter, baby. My nan and ghee. Love it. Love it. Love brown girls. I like brown girls because my favorite thing is if a girl has brown eyes. If a girl has brown eyes, boom, match made in heaven. I love it. And all brown girls have brown eyes. So, mashallah. Like, it's beautiful. I love that. 
unless it's a brown girl that wears color contact lenses. You ever seen that brown girl with green eyes? Looks like something Terminator was supposed to kill. You're like, that's not natural. That's <laughs> no, that's like seeing a white guy in a turban. You're like, buddy, you better have a cobra or know how to read palms. I don't know why you have a turban on right now, Kyle, but we're in Muskoka. Take it off. You're not the prime minister. Get it off, dude. Not cool at all. And if she says that she wants a future with less white guys, like she wants a future with less white guys, then let me hit it. Raw. Yeah. Our kids won't be white. Think about it. That's basic science. We'll make beautiful mixed kids. Or just hate white guys, and then I'm going to keep banging white girls, dabbling in the pink nipple, making Paige and Liam. So you know what I mean? Like, what do you want? I'll hit it. You wouldn't be my first brown girl. I'm not a regular white guy. I'm a cultured white guy. I know how to make a red curry. I'm out here trying to make a Steph curry. Let me hit that shit. <laughs> Mix it up. <laughs> no, white people are the problem. We are. We're fine, though. We're coming around. It's cool. Here's a racist thing that white people do. This is uncomfortable, but I gotta say it. Only white people doing this, too. Black people don't do this. We're the only ones. Like, white people will go to, like, a Chinese food restaurant, and if we see a bunch of Asians, we're like, yeah, it hits. Park the car. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, if we go to an Indian restaurant and you see nothing but brown people, you're like, authentic. That's where they all eat. Let's go. Black people don't do that. Black people aren't showing up to Kelsey's and they're like, yeah, look at all of them. Yeah, it's all, this is a good one. This is authentic. Look at all the white people. This is an authentic Montana's. This is going to be a legit blooming onion. This is the spot. This is where they all come. It's going to be a white culture experience. Paper hats. They're going to clap, sing happy birthday. We get suckers at the end for some reason. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Do we have people here in relationships? Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. There's more than that. They're just long-term relationships. <laughs> I love how just in sync you heard like, woo, and it sounded like girls. A lot of those were guys, you know what I mean? And those were short-term relationships. Cause she was like, you better make the woo noise right now, Matthew, you want a blow job before the end of 2022. He's like, we're in a relationship. Four months, 17 weeks, 30 days, you know what I mean? I think it's better to be in a relationship than it is to be single. I'm so happy to be in a relationship, man. I love it. And girls disagree with that one sometimes. They're like, yeah, but it's fun dating. The first six months, it's like the honeymoon phase for you. For you, okay? There's no such thing as the honeymoon phase for guys. If your guy ever told you that he was in a honeymoon phase, break up with him, he's cheated on you twice already. There's no such thing as the honeymoon phase for guys. Are you crazy? If you actually like the girl, you think the first six months is a honeymoon, you're like an intern trying to earn a permanent position. It's terrifying. You have to do reviews every time you have sex. You're like, thumb in the butt might only be for Guelph. I don't know, I don't know what's happening. I have to figure this shit out. It's fucked up. You ever see a couple holding hands on a hot day? Brand new relationship, brand new. He's scared the pussy's gonna run away. That's what's happening right there. When you've been dating for two years or longer, you hold hands for five seconds on a hot day. You're like, both of our palms are sweating. Don't touch me until we get home. We'll have sex and air conditioning. We have a condo. Get the fuck out of here. You smell. But I got friends who are like, nah, bro. I'm single for the rest of my life. I get different pussy every single day. You're like, no, you do unnecessary work for pussy every single day. They're like, look at this girl I just matched with. I'm gonna go help her pick out bathing suits. You're like, bro you're still helping her pick out bathing suits. That's the beauty of being in a long-term relationship. Your girl's like, you wanna help me pick out bathing suits? You're like, it's my one day off. Fuck no, not a chance. I'm staying home, I'm getting high, I'm playing 2K17, trading LeBron to the Raptors, getting them that championship they deserve. <laughs> Show me the bathing suit when you get home. Ain't nobody going to winners today, baby. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> No, I just got a girlfriend for the first time in years, though, so that's bad advice. <laughs> Don't listen to that. <laughs> I, I like it, though. I mean, things happen when you're in a relationship that don't happen when you're single, right? Like, the other day, my girl was going to work, and I was like, before you go to work, can we do something real quick? And she was like, I don't have time. And I was like, please, which is something you can only do in a relationship. You can't do that on date number two. Beg, are you crazy? But in a relationship, you're like, suck my balls, it's my birthday. You can do shit like that, right? <laughs> And she was like, I don't have time. And I was like, please. And she looked at me and was like, ugh, can you make it quick? Can I make it quick? <laughs> Why would you ever ask any guy? Yeah, I can make it quick. It's my specialty, for sure. I've been dying to make it quick. I've been waiting two years for you to ask me to make it quick. 
You mean I can just enjoy the vagina for what it is? I don't have to look at pictures of your grandma so I can last a normal amount of time? Yeah, I can make it quick. I'm tired of busting Nona nuts out here, for sure. I can make it quick. Not bragging, but 23 seconds. That's how quick I was. Michael Jordan numbers. LeBron in the sheets. What's up? Thank you. Some of you guys are supporting. Some of you guys are like, weird joke. Not a joke. Some of these are lessons I'm here to teach. You understand? If your girl ever asks you how fast you can go, you go as fast as you possibly can. Because every time you have sex after that, all you're doing is showing her love. You're welcome. Write that down. 23 seconds. Now, if we have regular 20-minute sex, she now knows 19 minutes and 37 seconds of that was for her. I didn't need it. I can come in 23 seconds. That was all for you. Happy anniversary. Welcome to Niagara Falls. Like, this is just... basic shit, man. <laughs> Would you guys ever bring your girl to a strip club? Yeah. Nice. Three girls, I felt, answered. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's <laughs> cool. Everyone that said yeah is in a happy relationship. Bring your girl to a strip club. I've said that to some of my friends. They're like, are you insane? You know how shitty of a boyfriend I'm gonna look like? I'll look like a fucking grease bag bringing my girlfriend to a strip club. Uh, au contraire. You know how good of a boyfriend you look like when you bring your girl to a strip club? That's the only place in the world where girls are guaranteed going to be hitting on you all the time. You know how good of a boyfriend you get to look like when you're sitting there with your girlfriend? And girls are just like, hey, baby. And you're like, get the fuck away from me, you nasty bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Don't touch me. Like, hey, I couldn't help but notice. Couldn't help but notice what? My beautiful partner? Skedaddle, whore. Get out of here. Scram, tramp. You know? And then your girl's like, he's so loyal. You're like, loyal? I'm just broke. I can't afford a lap dance. This is, this is just relationship advice. <laughs> I'm preparing to have kids right now. Well, no, I'm not, we're not, we haven't talked about it. Or I just don't wear condoms, so like, you know, you know what I mean? It's probably gonna, I don't know. I'm not, whatever. She's still here? Uh, she knows, she knows. I hope when I have kids that they're an accident. 110%, you know? I don't know why that's a bad thing, being an accident. People are like, you were an accident. It's like, I wit, like, yeah. I hope all my kids are accidents. The opposite of an accident, so Caucasian, like that's so weird. <laughs> to pre-plan a child, that's not gross. Like what the fuck? <laughs> Tonight we're gonna put a warm towel underneath your bosom, we're gonna light roasted vanilla candles, let an owl loose. Like you don't get Illuminati vibes from that. That's so weird. If you're having sex to make a kid, then you have to make love. You ever had to make love before? It's your girl's anniversary, technically yours too, and you have to do those slow Drake pumps. Your cum doesn't even come out right when you make love. Your cum comes out like a baby spitting up food it doesn't want. It's like, eh, 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 eh. That's how you want your kid to come into this world? You want your kid to drip out of your dick into this world? Just, daddy, I'm here, let's play catch. I'm a miracle. What? I hope I didn't come into this world like that. I hope I fucking blasted into this world like a wrestler. You know what I mean? I hope I came into this world, my dad was fucking my mom in a jail cell, thumbing her asshole, banging her a Tupac, pulled out, jerked off on the titty, bounced off the titty, landed in the pussy. I'm here. I'm a baby. Where the milk at? I'm hungry. <laughs> Let me ask you, okay? Why are babies surviving off nothing but milk for the first three months? That's not weird to anybody, hmm? What's the one thing that humans need to survive? Water. When's the last time that you saw a baby drink water? They don't. Nothing but milk and titties. That's not weird to you? What happened to Building 7? Where was the fucking bullet that hit JFK? Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Forgot. Recording an album. I got off track there. Oh, God. Yeah. Oof. Back on track. I believe in God. Why is it like that? Like, why? You know what I mean? Like, I literally could talk about eating ass and everyone's having a blast. And you're like, I believe in God. And you're all like, dude, it's Saturday. What are you talking about? God? Don't talk about God, man. Are you going to molest us now? What are you doing? I don't believe in God because I was raised religious. My parents are atheists. I believe in God because I do, like, mushrooms and acid. How are you going to do psychedelics and not kind of believe in God? Waste of drugs. You know what I mean? 
So I'm just going to start hallucinating and be like, yo, the walls are melting, snakes on the floor, and I'm supposed to just be like, science is crazy. Like, obviously, it's better if I'm like, God, I think I saw him. God's a seal. I saw God. He's a seal. God's Grammy recording artist, seal. But da 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 <sighs> I believe in God because I'm scared, you know? I like when I say that right now, that it's just like, you know, the room goes quiet, you hear one guy sneeze, because everybody's like, yeah, man, I'm scared too, you know? And it's okay to be scared. What the fuck happened in the past two and a half years? It's scary. We weren't ready for a pandemic. You guys remember the first month people were Windexing chip bags? Like, it's been weird, dude. It's okay. I have full-grown adult friends right now quitting weed and joining a gym because they're getting ready for war. You're like, okay, man. <laughs> you stop watching the news. You know what I mean? Like, dude, I sold my bong. I'm joining Good Life. We're getting drafted. Fuck, we're getting drafted. You're like, what? By who? Justin Trudeau? I don't want to wear a mask for this guy. You think I'm going to go to war for him? Get the fuck out of here. What? What, do I got to sanitize the AK before I start shooting Russians? Dude, you're fine. No one's going to war for a drama teacher. You're good, dude. You're good. <laughs> I'm scared of dying. Like, like I'm, like, I'm scared of, like, where you go. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's a big reason why, like, I believe in God and stuff like that. Like, I don't know how you can just be like, when you die, nothing happens. Everything turns black. I listen to Slipknot all throughout high school. Like, it's, it's weird. Like, I don't want to die and go nowhere. You know what I mean? I want to believe in heaven. But then also, I'm like, I don't know about that. Because, like, I have, like, religious friends, and then the way that they explain heaven, like... That's weird too, where they're like, you know, two years ago today, Cody passed away. I know he's up there. I know he's jamming with Jimi Hendrix. And you're like, I don't think he is though. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know? if heaven's real, heaven has to be real for Jimi Hendrix. And I don't think heaven for Jimi Hendrix is jamming with Cody from Sobeys. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Cody went to hell. I don't know what to tell you. Cody went to hell. It's fucked up. <laughs> I love doing stand-up right now. It's like so it's changed so much in the past two years. People get offended and then some people are like, offend me, spin on me. <laughs> it's weird that you can talk about God and you're like, just go back to sex, dude. Like what? There's just a vibe. I'll lighten it up. Gun to the head, you had to fuck an animal. Gun to the head. Gun to the head. Don't say pig. My ex-wife might be here. Gun to the head. You had to fuck an animal. Which one? No? Okay, fine. People are like, we're being recorded. I'm not going to say that. Me neither. You know that there's people out there that fuck dolphins? Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Enthusiastic. Yeah, that was a lot. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I know. Yes, it's fucking crazy. There's blogs about it, like full-on essays. They don't call it fucking dolphins. They say making love to porpoises, but look it up. It's insane. You know what I mean? Also, dolphins are one of the only other species other than us that gets pleasure from having sex. You know? Gun to the head, right? That's not going to be sick. Giving a dolphin an orgasm? Like, that's not going to fucking... That's pretty cool. Also, like, I'm not going to pick a lion or a dog. It's dangerous and hairy. Dolphins already... You know what I mean? The dolphins already got the Brazilian. Like, it's like, there's something about it. Gun to the head. I don't do it. People do, okay? I don't do it. I'm just trying to loosen things up after the God talk, okay? People do. I'd rather be friends with a guy who fucks dolphins than kids, 100%. We can all agree with that, right? Now we're back on the same. Like, if my boy was like, yo, I'm attracted to a 14-year-old, I'm like, we're gonna beat the brakes off of you, dude. You're not my friend anymore. I'm gonna fuck this goof up. Like, let's kill this guy. But if my boy was like, yeah, I, w I went to Costa Rica. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> she got wild. I don't know. Went swimming with the dolphins. I did blow out of the blowhole. You know what I mean? I'd be like, all right, dude, don't tell people that, but you're wild. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what am I going to say? <laughs> people are weird. What can I say? You know? I'd rather see Shaq's dick than Beyonce naked. 100%. 100% I'm taking Shaq's dick. No fucking question. Are you crazy? Live a little. Like, okay, if somebody right now told me I could see any three people in the world have sex, I'm a straight guy and they'd all be dudes. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it wouldn't be like my celebrity crush, this hot girl. Like, there's internet porn. You can see hot girls have sex anytime you want. I would literally be like my grade 10 science teacher. 
Like, you ever see, like, a white guy with a ponytail get on the streetcar with a guitar, and you're not like, I'm dying to see this guy fuck. Like, you don't think that? Like, you just want to see that guy, and you're just like, fuck, let's do doggy style. Like, I don't know what he would do, but I want to see it. You never see an old white guy just, like, being a Karen, or they're just like, excuse me, too spicy. How am I supposed to know what picante means? Like, that guy? And you're just like, buddy, I want to see this guy glaze like a donut. Just, uh, like, I want to see that shit. I just want to see nerdy people have sex. It's interesting. Of course I want to see Shaq's dick. Are you crazy? You don't want to see Shaq's dick? Live a little. What? Guaranteed gonna be hilarious. For sure. Shaq's like 8 foot 14. Even if he has a regular 6 inch dick, it's gonna look like a doorstop on his giant body. Just da, 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 da. Like an Audi belly button. That's amazing. It's not what I hope happens. I hope Shaq's like, you want to see the dick? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, okay. And it's like a magician just pulling out fucking two feet of hog. And you're like, yes, I knew it. What? I fucking knew it. Let's go. And Shaq's like, it's not even hard yet. You want to see it get hard? You're like, it's why I'm here, dude. Yes. I'll turn around. Let me know when you're ready. You're like, what? It's like three feet now. Just some planet Earth shit. Veins on veins. Just hear David Attenborough, like the vein on Shaq. Like that on... Real shit. Oh my god. He's like, I didn't even come yet. You're like, too far, Shaq. Okay, put it away. Too far. No one needs to see you come. I know what come looks like. Relax. That's why adults can't have the Make a Wish Foundation. You know what I mean? Like, you have to cut that off. That has to be for kids. You know what I mean? You say that to a 15 year old who's like dying. You're like, is there anything we can do for you? They're like, I want to meet Justin Bieber. You're like, we can do that. You know what I mean? I want to meet the Maple Leafs. Here's three of them. You know what I mean? You can't have, like, 35-year-old dudes who, like, it's sad, you know what I mean? They have three months to live, but you can't be like, is there anything we can do? They're like, yeah, custody of my son. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, there's not... Like, get my girl to unblock me, you know what I mean? It's just like, adults are weird. You can't do that. They're like, can I fuck a dolphin? No, dude, you can't. Can I see Shaq's dick? It's done, man. Get this guy out of here. Just the kids. Cut it off at 18. We're not doing this shit anymore. It's weird. <laughs> I like, I like smoking weed more than I like drinking. Am I alone on that? Yeah. Okay, nice. That's a, my favorite thing. I know the stoners, because you guys all went, yeah, but you're like, no, I meant yeah, as in yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? I just saw that happen. Am I alone? You're like, yeah, no, what? <laughs> like, I'd rather see my friend get too high than see my friend get too drunk. I don't want to see my friend get too drunk anymore. You know what I mean? I'm in my 30s. That means I gotta give him a couch to possibly sleep on. You know what I mean? I gotta give him a bucket to puke in. Like, I'm too old to draw dicks on their face. There's nothing fun about my friend getting too drunk. I do wanna see my friend get too high, though. I do wanna see that. I do wanna walk into the living room and see my buddy watering the coffee table. Like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, it's made out of wood. Wood was once a tree. Maybe it remembers. You know? And you're high too? So you're like, it is growing. Let's see where tonight goes. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I quit drinking last month, actually. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Last month. I'm back this month. Sober September. <laughs> Just sober September. Ten-year anniversary, actually. I do that every year for one month. I quit drinking. I quit drugs, I quit cigarettes, smoke a little bit of weed and like I clear my mind. I think it's beneficial and I recommend it to everybody, you know? What a good audience. I love, I said that, a few people clapped, not one person fucking laughed. You know that's a joke? You know what I mean? I'm like, and I smoke a little bit of weed and you guys are all like, yeah, sounds like a detox to me, continue on. <laughs> Why would I ever quit smoking weed? I'm just not gonna enjoy movies anymore? What would the benefits of that be? <laughs> Have you ever watched a movie sober after you started smoking weed? It's like brushing your teeth without toothpaste. You're like, what the fuck am I doing right now? <laughs> Watching Netflix sober, so I'm just learning about a serial killer? What's going on? <laughs> I mean, and then you smoke a bit of weed and you're like, lock the doors. Like, that's how I'm supposed to feel. I'm supposed to be figuring out which one of my friends is closest to this guy so he doesn't kill us and eat all of us too. You know what I mean? A lady the other day was like, well, you'll never have children. I was like, what does that mean? She's like, marijuana kills your sperm count. I was like, okay, Mountain Dew kills your sperm count. I'm not a snowboarding instructor. Nobody's chugging the dew out here, Helen. I'll be fine. 
Marijuana does not kill your sperm count, okay? Jerry Garcia has five kids. Bob Marley has 17 kids that he knows of. Marijuana does not kill your sperm count. Makes your sperm stronger. Gives your sperm the munchies. Like, I smell eggs somewhere. Let's fertilize that shit. <laughs> Smells weird. Wrong hole, wrong hole. Because they're fucking in the butt. Anal. Some people are down. If you're not down with the anal shit, you're going to be a long night. <laughs> There's benefits to the other ones, right? Like you quit drinking after a month, you're like, my thoughts are clearer. You quit cigarettes after a month, you're like, I can feel my lungs. I can breathe again. You quit cocaine, you're like, my nosebleeds have stopped. My erections are coming back. There's benefits to this shit. You quit weed and after a week, you're like, I might hate children. You know what I mean? Like that's... <laughs> shit. You know? Yeah. I don't hate children. I love kids. Ready to have them. We talked about that before. Raw dog, ODB, rest in peace. You know the whole thing. Uh, yes, yes. I, I was thinking about this the other day too. Like, if I had a kid and my son was like 12 and was like, Dad, when I grow up, I want to be a rapper. I'm a white dad. I look super Jewish. Like, that's the worst guy to get rap advice from, right? <laughs> Unless he's going to be a beastie boy, you know? He's <laughs> just the worst guy. But it's my son, right? I believe in my kids, so I'd be like, son, if that's what you want to do, you make me one promise. You go out there and you become the best rapper that you can. You rap every single day. He'll be like, all right, dad, I will. And that night, I'm going to get three of my hardest friends and I'm going to go into his room wearing baklavas, okay? I don't know if I said that right. One of them's a Greek dessert. The other one, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> the mask that the crazy white kid used to wear in elementary school. You guys know what I'm talking about? Remember that mask? And there was always the white kid. He had South Park or wrestling shirts. His parents smoked. Dustin or Tyler? You're making me say his name. You guys know a kid I'm talking about. He got angry and his face turned purple. Remember that kid? Where they just go, Aah! You're like, what the fuck? Only white kids doing that too. They're just, Aah! And then they get Ritalin for free. Like, what's going on there? What's up, Dustin? That's weird. I'm gonna go into my son's room wearing those masks. I'll take them, I'll throw them into a white van. Where are we going? We're going to the trap house. What's a trap house? You'll find out when we get there. Oh, we're making snowballs? That's not snow. Throw it in the pot. Why is it crackling? Because that's your product. Get that bitch to bag it up. Her name's Linda. Call her a bitch. There's guns, drugs, blood, money everywhere. Obviously, my son's scared for his life. When he leaves the trap house, where does he come running? Straight to his dad's room. Dad, tonight I got to get to a trap house. There was guns, there was blood, there was a girl. They made me call her a bitch. I knew her name was Linda. I knew her name was Linda. And I got to look at my son like, son, slow down. I'm so sorry that that happened to you, but put it in your mixtape. Like what a gift a father could give his son. The most fire mixtape of the year. He's 11 years old already. I remember that night in the trap house. That's not going number one? Oh yeah, it is. Everybody had the same name as my dad's friends. That was weird. You know? <laughs> Why was it a school night? Why was it a school night? Just a like hard. <laughs> I miss being young. I miss being like 15. You know what I mean? When I was 15, easier life, you know? My biggest fear was coming in my pants. That was it. That was the only thing I had to worry about. Jessica's pretty hot. You're good at hockey. Make it through half of an OC episode and don't come in your pants. That was it. Now I'm 33. I wish my biggest fear was coming in my pants. Much rather that than not getting hard at all. You know what I mean? Now you got to be like, I don't know. I do drugs sometimes. Maybe the pandemic. I'm an artist. We all have anxiety. You know what I mean? Like I can't. <laughs> you know? I'd much rather her just be like, why is it all wet? You know what I mean? You're like, I came, whoops. Like, why is she going to care? She's going to feel like a wizard on some Harry Potter shit. Like, I didn't even touch you. You're a wizard now, Jessica. You did it. <laughs> Girls now care because there's a predisposed idea that if a guy comes in 30 seconds, he's a loser. You know what I mean? Let me break it down for you like this, okay? If you've been dating a guy for like two to three years and he comes in 30 seconds, waste, man, loser. You don't need that in your life. But if it's the first three to five times that you smashed, take a compliment, just good pussy, you know? And I didn't think that a lot of people would laugh when I said that, but I am here to teach, okay? Because no guy would ever do that. I would never be fingering a girl and she comes after 10 seconds and I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, Brandon, get all the boys on speaker right now. 
I'm at Megan's place, two fingers deep, not even on pinky. She starts shaking like exorcist, breaking furniture. No, I'm not even making eye contact. I'm leaving her house, fucking loser. Obviously not. I would take my fingers out of her like guns in a holster, just like, still got it. Marry me, you know what I mean? <laughs> I love living in Toronto, though. I really do. It's expensive. It's fucked up. Maybe it's going downhill, but at the moment, I like it. it teaches us a lot of good shit, man. Like, you know, like, last night I did a warm-up show for this, and six people showed up? You know that the room's so quiet right now, I can hear the debit machine, and it doesn't phase me at all, bro. <laughs> It's like, yo, your dream might not happen, but like, I'm a Leafs fan. You know what I mean? Like, you just know how to just roll with the else. You go other places. Like, you ever meet somebody who gets so mad when their team loses, they break shit? Like, what the fuck? Like, how do you care that much about sports? Especially when it's baseball. Like, how do you care that much? There's 488 games in the season. Not even the baseball players care that much about baseball. They're eating sunflower seeds during the game. Second baseman's on Tinder. Nobody cares that much about baseball. People act like they lost their home. They've got holes in the wall, and you're like, that's been there for 17 years. And they're like, it's staying until they win. Cup finals, loyal to the oil. And you're like, we're in Ontario. Like, what are you talking about? You broke your grandfather's clock, dude. Relax. <laughs> Act like they lost their home. I've never understood how you could care that much about sports. Yeah. Until I started gambling on sports. And then I was like, I lost my home. <laughs> I mean, and I feel bad because I know so much about sports because I can gamble on sports, but I know nothing about like real life. That's why you should be able to like gamble on the news and shit. Then I would <laughs> know about it. People are like, do you even know what's happening in Guatemala? And you're like, yes, hurricane. 1,500 dead. Hoping that it gets to 1,700, because I have the over under, and that's set to 1,600. But at least I would know. At least I would know. I'm not allowed to have a bad day right now if I don't know what's happening in the news. Like, you're having a bad, straight white male, you're having a bad day. Okay, you'll be happy to know that that little boy that just went missing, they found him. And you're like, yeah, that's why I'm having a bad day. I had $700, they wouldn't find this kid <laughs> until Thursday. <laughs> and another $50 that he'd be dead. So the fact that the body was still breathing is not helping my parlay. <laughs> Lost a lot of you on that, and that's cool, that's fine. I got two jobs right now, you know? One of those jobs is to come here, say silly things, try and make you laugh. The other one, post-pandemic, is to say jokes like that, just so I can remind you that they are just jokes. And you're allowed to fucking laugh. Let's not be so sensitive. You're allowed to laugh, okay? The kid's not real, all right? Even if he is real, he's not here. He's missing. Look, if you guys don't pay attention, the fuck am I supposed to do my job? <laughs> no, I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy. I'm a good guy. I got a lot of good ideas. I do a lot of good things. Let me clear. Like, okay, here's a charity idea. You want to get philant like, or you want to philanthropy? You know, you want to philanthropy? You want to do like the philanthropy? You know what I mean? You want to do philanthropy? Here's my charity idea, okay? You guys know what catfishing is, right? Okay, like you match with somebody, they're hot, you meet up in real life, not so much, right? Here's my charity idea, reverse catfish. Boom. How does it work? Glad you asked, okay? If you're a hot girl, and I looked around the room before I started this joke, nothing about hot girls here, so listen up, okay? Also, it's 2022, so legally I do have to say that. You guys are all super attractive. Lena Dunham's hilarious. Lizzo isn't gross. So if you're a hot girl, you make like a Tinder or a Bumble account, but of the most murked creature ever. Like just disgusting. Like put on the Shrek filter, have stuff dripping from you. You know what I mean? Just like one eye, just like this. Like not even a hot name. Just like McGurgle, 33, Oshawa. It's gross. There's a guy who's nice enough that's gonna be like, it's what's on the inside that counts. Swipe, like, bless his heart. 
guy's gonna talk to her for two weeks until he's like, this sounds dumb, but like, I don't know, like, would you ever wanna go for gelato sometime? Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's gonna ask her for gelato. And then what happens when he's in the park waiting for her, who comes walking across the field, smoking hot, ass, titties, like just, you know what I mean? And he's like, what the fuck? And she's like, are you Jonathan? He's like, uh, yeah, you don't look like McGurgle. She's like, my name's not McGurgle, it's Melissa, I'm a model. Sit down, you got reverse catfish. She's like, what? Whip your dick out, you're getting your dick sucked in the park. She's like, what? Right here? Won't we get in trouble? The police will think it's sick. Whip out your dick. <laughs> Melissa, you're choking because you have a fat dick. Heart of gold, dick of steel. Be the change that you want to see in this world. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I grew up in a very female household. I was the only boy growing up. It was me, all sisters, all female cats, my mom. <laughs> my sister said to me the other day, she said, you had an easier life than we did growing up. Facts. She's like, because we're girls. True. She's like, we went through things that you didn't go through. Facts. Okay? And I was like, that's true. She's like, we had periods. Right? I don't know what that's like. She goes, very scary. I just started bleeding out of my privates, okay? I'd be scared too if I just started peeing blood. There's subway ads about that. The lemon, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so I was like, what happened? And she's like, I went and I talked to mom and mom said that my flower's blooming and I'm a woman now. And I'm like, that's a beautiful moment that you got to share with mom. I didn't get to share moments like that with dad. And she's like, yeah, because scary things like that didn't happen to you as a boy growing up. Okay. Do you guys think that the first time we had an erection that was fun for us? You think that we just woke up and we're like, sick, a third arm, this is dope. Every time I think about the pink ranger, it flexes, what? It's 10 times bigger than it usually is. 10 for me, eight for most guys, where you're just like, what? Dad, do you have this, dad? Like, obviously not. We woke up, it kind of hurts. You're like, what? Like, it was like a balloon. You're like, there's pee stuck in it, how? Is it glue? What is happening? And then you're trying to pee and it's like it won't go down. You're doing Supermans over the toilet. Like, is that all you have to pee forever? You think that's a fun moment for my dad when I come running into his room with my first nine-year-old erection? Like, what is this? And he's like, dude, I was sleeping. What the fuck? It's 3 a.m. This guy has to wake up staring down the barrel of my first nine-year-old boner. Tears dripping off of it. <laughs> We don't have guy stuff. My dad doesn't get to be like, your tree's a trunk now. Like there isn't shit like that for guys. My dad had to improvise. My dad's like, you know the Ninja Turtles? I was like, yeah. He's like, what are their names? I'm like, Raphael, Donatello, Michael, oh, I'm blanking. And my dad would do the creepiest thing he's ever done. My dad's like, look down. And I looked down and my dick was soft. And I was like, how did you? And he's like, just think about turtles. And now I'm sexually attracted to turtles. That's what I'm saying. It's not easy. For us either. Okay, what do you guys like better? Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs? Hell yeah, hell yeah. And there is some cat people here. I like that, I like that. I love cats, man. I do, I grew up with cats, but dogs are better. Like I love cats, but dogs are better. Because every time somebody has a good cat, they always say the same thing. Best cat in the world, just like a dog. Best cat in the world, just like a dog. Look at this, when I come home, he sits down, just like a dog. Look at this, I get a treat, he comes to me, just like a dog. That doesn't happen the other way around. Nobody's ever like, best dog in the world. Best dog in the world, it's just like a cat. Look at this, when I come home, where is he? I don't know. Under the bed? I don't know. Look, he just threw up. You know what I mean? Who has to clean that up? I do, say his name. He doesn't know his name. Best dog in the world. Just like a cat. <laughs> That is literally like one of my only clean jokes. <laughs> and shit is about to get so dirty, so I just said that as a palate cleanser. Uh, yeah, I like sending dick pics. I do. If it's consensual, I like sending dick pics. I understand that unconsensual dick pics are going out there. That's not cool. Girls have a reason to be mad about that. They should be mad about that. That should be fucking illegal. Pretty sure it is, but it should be like enforced more, okay? Guys would be mad too if we got unconsensual pussy pics. It's just never gonna happen in the fullness and existence and history of time. You know what I mean? I don't want it to happen. 
I don't want to wake up at 8 a.m. in the morning and check my Instagram DMs. There's a vagina I don't know who it belongs to. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whose flaps are these? Butthole hair and shit? It's going to ruin my day. Right? But if I know where it's coming from, I'm sick, you know? But girls are sending nudes right now, and then they're like, hey, like, what do I get in return? And you know how many guys are out there, and they're just like, oh, I know this sick place, all the food's $5. And you're like, are you insane? This angel just sent you naked photography, and you're taking her to warehouse? Like, what are you doing, dude? Are you nuts? If a girl says that to me, I'm like, what do you want in return? You know what I mean? A dick pic? Well, I didn't want to elude. Elude not. I will send you a dick pic. I have three Ikea lamps set up just for this purpose. Coconut oil and shea butter so it's shiny and the veins pop. Yes, I will send you a dick pic, okay? Just sucks because we can't be creative when we send a dick pic. Girls can be creative. Girls are more beautiful than guys are. We all know that. We like you more than you like us. Like, I'd fuck every girl in the room right now. I know that. <laughs> you hear how girls laugh, right? Not guys, because guys are like low-key like, yeah, I would too. Not one girl did that. Every girl's like, mm-mm, 20 guys in the room, I want to fuck 19 of them. Keep talking. You don't like us the way we like you. Are you crazy? We get foot jobs. You know how much you have to like a girl to get a fucking foot job? You know how much you have to like a species? There's no girls out there getting jerked off by fucking toes, just fingered by that. Are you crazy? But we're like, jerk me off like a monkey. I want to come in your nails. Like, we're disgusting. I don't get foot jobs, but there is guys that do. Trust me. It's crazy. It's nuts. Like, you like us. Girls are like, yeah, we like, but like, you don't like us the way, like, like we like your... You know, like, girls are like, oh, my boyfriend, though, he's so hot. His body. Like, okay, yeah, you like our bodies. Like, we like your bodies. We like your anatomy. Like, we want to bend you over, see if it's medium rare or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> girls don't like us that much. No girl's ever walked in and been like, well, 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 hard already. Let me see under the balls. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not like us. You're not that disgusting, okay? We eat ass. Dude, we eat ass, man. It got quiet because ass eaters are in the room and they're like, not me though, you know what I mean? And their girl's like, yeah, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, we eat ass. Eat ass, who gives a fuck? Okay, it got weird. Like, I have twice. I was in love. I, twice, I was in love. I'm not like a fucking, I don't love it, you know what I mean? I got friends who love it. I got friends who are like, yo, you ever six minutes into eating ass? And you're like, six minutes? What the fuck? <laughs> like, how long do you do it for? I'm like, two seconds to prove a point? Just like, uh, poppy get dirty, I'm out. You know what I mean? crazy if you're in love yeah eat ass man everybody else is just like yeah i'm in love you know what i mean we're engaged i spent half of my life savings on this ring we're gonna take pictures in oakville like you know what i mean you're like dude that's the wrong way you could get divorced and waste that money wrong way to show love wrong ring this ring you can't undo licking where she fucking poos from you know what i mean like that's that's real love that's why girls just get to be creative with the nudes. It's unbelievable, you know? Girls get to do like, like the like thing with the fog in the mirror, you know? And they're like, oh, little bit of nipple, you know? <laughs> Picture number two, they're like, little bit of titty, little bit of ass, You're like, whoa. Picture number three, all ass, no titty. Like fucking charcuterie boards and nudes. It's <laughs> sick. Not guys. You ask us for a nude, two options, that's it. We're just like, okay, we have option number one, dick pic, which is just like a mug shot of our dick. <laughs> yeah. Or option number two, dick pic with our face in it, and that's it. And even when you send a dick pic with your face in it, you can't be creative, because it has to be the same dick pic face every single time. It has to just be you with a boner and... <laughs> that's it. I can't be mouth closed, like I'm taking a driver's license photo. Like, I definitely can't be smiling. Like, it was me. It was me the whole time. It was my boner. Do you like it? I'm horny. You know what I mean? I definitely can't be hands-free. Like, who took the photo? You know what I mean? Like, I'm just gonna stand there, like, beep, beep, beep. What up, Jessica? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I love it. You guys are the best. And I see some people in here that are like confused and they're like, I don't know, but it's like, I'm here to teach, you know what I mean? Uh, suck our balls. That's it. If I can leave you with anything. Suck our balls. See how it was quiet when I said that? Cause girls are like, why is that a, you know what I mean? And guys are like, preach Reverend, I love this guy. 
suck our balls. Just lick them or something. You know what I mean? We're the only generation that's going to appreciate getting our balls sucked. We're the last ones, okay? We're the last generation that's gonna appreciate a truly dirty girl. We're the last generation that had to struggle to jerk off. You know how many people in this room have jerked off to catalogs? Like, they don't understand. <laughs> Kids nowadays have iPads and Pornhub. They don't appreciate dirty things like we do. I grew up in a generation where all I had was a VHS tape that my parents had that had a sex scene on it. That's all I had to jerk off to. You know what that's like? Jerking off to Weekend at Bernie's 2 for three years in a row? It's not fun. Sometimes your mom catches on, like, why do you keep watching Titanic? And you're like, get out, mom. Give me privacy. I jerked off to ER once. Like, that's not funny, you know what I mean? My parents taped it and a girl was getting gunshot wound surgery and they moved blood all the way. I was like, is that a nipple? Don't delete the tape, I'm 11, I'm horny. You know what I mean? Suck our balls. We're the last generation that's gonna appreciate it. It doesn't even feel good to get your balls sucked. You know, you ever sit on your balls accidentally? You're just like, well, that's cancer for sure. That shouldn't hurt. Yikes. The only reason why we like getting our balls sucked is because when a girl puts our balls in her mouth, something in our brain is like, whoa, it's dirty girl. What? It's crazy. This is why you swipe right in Hamilton. This is fantastic. <laughs> Nuts. Huh? And some girls are always, when I say that too, they're like, you're not talking about me though. And you're like, I'm not? And I was like, no, I'm a dirty girl. And you're like, okay, why? And they always have the same 1994 answer. You know what I mean? They're like, I have sex on the period. Okay, let me tell you something. It's 2022. If you're not having sex on the period, you're not in love. Put a towel down, run a red light, give her the red carpet treatment. You're not a real knight until you've had a little bit of blood on your sword. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not dirty to have sex on the period. You wanna be dirty and have sex in the period? You better let me finger you before and put that shit on like tribal paint, like motherfucking Simba's birthday. Ah, Sapenya. Ooh, do hakas? <laughs> I feel misunderstood. That's not how I wanted this to end. I feel very misunderstood. Ugh. I'm not saying that if a girl sucks your balls on the first date that you make that your girlfriend. Let me make that very clear, okay? If she's sucking balls on the first date, you make that your wife. If she's sucking balls on the first date, what's she doing after week two? Listening asshole, probably. What's she doing after a month? Dressing her pussy up like a dinosaur? Your dick's an asteroid, make me extinct. You're like, God damn, Hamilton, you're crazy. Yo, my name is Paul Thompson. You guys are absolutely amazing. Keep supporting live comedy, good night. I'd say one thing. Thank you guys so much for coming out. I appreciate you guys so much. I know so many people in this room. This is cheesy. I know I literally just talked about my dick and come for an hour, but I, it, it's very important that I say this. That I, I'm dedicating this show and this album tonight to my boy Shane King, who passed away a while ago. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. If you guys know me, I, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be doing stand-up the way that I do it if it wasn't for that guy. He's the most important person in my comedy career, so I dedicate it to him, and I just wanted to say that. Not to leave on a sad note, you know what I mean? Because up there, he's fucking laughing and calling me a bitch right now. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? But thank you guys so much for coming out. One, two, three, macaw! <laughs>